Hi, my name's Kelly, and today we are out here in my garden kind of wrapping things up for the season. The end of gardening season always comes with this sense of sadness, but also relief sadness that this project that you put so much work and thought and creativity into is coming to an end but also like a relief that this project <laughs> this big project that takes a lot of work and thought and creativity is coming to an end so one project I still have to do is pulling all these stakes out that were that I used to trellis the tomatoes which are now completely dead from frost. Um, I already cut the twine, um, and all we have to do is yank the poles out. Also, um, to point out the obvious, if you didn't catch it in one of my last videos, this big limb kind of just fell on all the tomatoes. They're kind of pretty much done producing anyway, but you know, that was something. The chickens are eating uh, <laughs> rotten tomatoes. That's cool. Yum. So something I did last year that I'm considering doing again is actually not pulling all these plants up, kind of just leaving them in the garden for the winter. That kind of protects the soil from rain and snow. It kind of just keeps it covered and keeps the soil healthier. And then in the springtime, I would they will have decomposed quite a bit and I'll have less to pull. But I might still pull I don't know if you can see them. The big sunflower stalks. Because they're like trees. They're not gonna decompose. They're just gonna keep being like that. So I might as well put them in the compost pile. So there's another reason I wanted to clear out these sunflowers and that's because before I planted them I laid down plastic mulch. Sunflowers, these are the kind that are supposed to get really tall and I'm gonna And I fully regret it because it is now in a million pieces, maybe more than a million pieces. And I'm gonna have to pick all those little tiny pieces of black <laughs> felted plastic mulch by hand. This is worse than weeding. It said on the package a 15 year warranty or guarantee or something like that. 15 years. It didn't even, it started breaking down after like one month. It, that should be illegal. Honestly, I'm, I fully regret it. Fully regret it. I won't have you watch me take hours to pick up all those plastic mulch pieces. So we're going to move on and I'm going to show you the parts of the garden that are still producing because it's not completely over yet. This little greenhouse that 
Tim built me for starting seeds. I put that over a bed of something. I'll show you. It's actually pretty steamy in there on a sunny day like this. Um, it's mostly, I, could, I should maybe actually even have the lid open today, but it's mostly um, closed because it's been getting pretty cold at night, like lows of 26, like definitely a hard frost. But this lettuce in here has been looking good and growing. We've had a few salads from it. We have some other greens that are not covered that are doing okay, just not as well as the covered lettuce. And then we have some fall carrots going that I'm, I could dig up, like some of them, nope. That one is rotten. They're okay size, but I also, oh, I don't know, maybe I should dig them up. <laughs> They're getting kind of rotten around the top, but I've known people to sow fall carrots and then dig them up in the spring and they're really sweet. So I might do that, because I mean, these aren't humongous. They're pretty small. Kale is a super hardy vegetable and this will will keep eating from this kale probably maybe till Christmas. I don't know, like I remember it. It can get snowed on. It can tolerate cold pretty well. It eventually will wither and die and the rabbits will come in, eat it down to a little stem. But yeah, we'll be eating kale for a while yet still too. So even though I'm sad about this gardening season kind of wrapping up. There are things to look forward to, definitely things to be proud of. We had a huge tomato harvest. Here's our tomato haul. Oh no! I really think it was from the, what were they called? The fish that we buried. The stir, what were they? Carp, carp. The carp that we buried in the beds. Free worm food. We have a whole deep freezer full of tomatoes that are ready to be canned this winter. Um, lots of kale, good amount of peppers, good amount of potatoes. We had so much, so many salads from the garden. Some cabbage, we had maybe four heads of cabbage. Oh, I, we got a lot of squash too. I forgot to say that, like a lot of squash. Many things to be proud of. And the thing I think I'm most proud of is keeping up with this project, the YouTube project. You know, I watch other homesteaders and gardeners on YouTube and just think, how cool is it that they get to be sharing their passion and I'm just proud of myself for sticking, sticking through it, even though I have no idea how to use this camera, really. I taught myself how to use the video editing software and I'm still <laughs> not good at it, but you know, I, I made it through a season and that's something to be celebrated. Maybe I should drink more beer. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Oh wow, did that just come out of its cocoon? That literally just happened. Ah! Don't step on plants. Look at this zucchini plant. Look at this zucchini plant. Look at this zucchini plant. Good gesture. 
Chester, are you gonna dig potatoes with me? Today we are butchering our meat chickens. Oh my god! Oh, Nelly! So this is interesting. This was one of Megan and Brody's hens that had went blind. And that is a yolk. You see all those yellow balls in there? That yolk would not disappoint in the frying pan. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys watching and coming along on my gardening journey. And I'm already looking forward to spring. I hope you subscribe to my channel so that you can hopefully be inspired or at least entertained, maybe learn something, maybe laugh. Above all, I hope this vlog makes your heart warm it makes you smile.